In Fast Track Scripting Host, we've had the ability to compile scripts to EXE executable packages for some time, but version 7.1 now gives us the ability to compile scripts into MSI packages as well, and that's the subject of this short video demonstration. So there's the create EXE file capability in Fast Track, and here now, new to version 7.1, is the ability to create MSI packages and that's what we're going to look at today. So the package that I want to deploy via MSI is a console, I've called it RDP console, and the main thing that I want to do here is run a Microsoft RDP connection to enable me to connect to our binary research terminal server. So I'm simply using a run command to do that. If I scroll down here and look at the context helper, run command runs a program, waits for it to finish. So that's just what I want to do in a console context. There's four other options here. All they do is put up a show message or exit the console. Uh, and it's only a few lines long. In fact, that's the entire script. So I'm just going to press F5 at this point to run this script so we can have a look at it. I'm using a temporary license or a trial license at the moment. So there's my five options, one of which is exit. There's a console overview that just puts up a show message at this point as do these other two options. What I want to do is connect to binary research using a terminal services connection. And let's just have a quick look at that before I do it via the console. So there's the, there's the script. There is the RDP connection. Let's just edit that. It's standard Microsoft RDP stuff. So there is the terminal services computer. And if I connect to that, it goes straight through and I'm presented with my uh, credential screen for logging on. So I'll go through the actual logon process a little later. But that's uh, very straightforward to set up. And that this is the application that I want to deploy. So if I double click that, I get the same thing. I'm presented with the credentials login window. So let's cancel that, go back to the script. So that's the script that I want to deploy. But uh, in addition to that, I want to have it available once it's installed by MSI from the start menu. So I want customers to be able to go start, all programs, and then in this list here, I want them to see the console come up. So to do that, I'm going to use a second script, which is even simpler. And I'm going to use a shortcut called rdpconsole.lnk. And all that does is provide a link to this file here, which is a a centralized in a centralized location, public location called rdpconsole.fsh. That's the script we were just looking at, and that's in a public location that everyone can get at. So the install script simply creates a shortcut which links to the console. So let's go ahead and create the MSI file, and we're going to create it as a project because there's more than just this script to go. In fact, there's two scripts and the Microsoft RDP and they are currently all in the same folder. So we create a standard installation package. I could also create a scheduled task inside the MSI package, and that's a fully automated uh, scheduled task, which will create a random time between 10 in the morning and 3 in the afternoon, and it will install the package any time between there, and the reason for doing that is to make it very easy to create uh, staggered installation times for all your machines. At this stage, we're just going to create a straightforward MSI installation package, call it RDP install, uh, accept all the defaults for versions, and I'm just going to place that on the desktop, which has come up there, and as well as the script which we are currently looking at, RDP install.fsh, that's the base script, it will also include the other files it's found in the folder, which is the RDP connection and the console script itself. So let's go ahead, create that MSI file. It's been placed on the desktop. I'll just minimize these. So let's run that simply by double clicking. And this menu will not show up if you are running it via SCCM or via group policy in unattended mode. So the link has been installed, close the installation program, 
go to start all programs there is the link click on the link there's the menu click on my connection and I'll actually log on this time And there you can see that I'm logged on to the Binary Research Terminal Services session. I'll just log off from there. And we go straight back to the console. And we're done. So that's just a very quick look at creating an MSI package to deploy an application using a shortcut link. Thanks for watching.